everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to talk about makeup tips for the summer, how to get a nice beautiful bronzy skin, dark deep warm eye look. There'll be so much we'll talk about today. I have some tips, some tricks that I use for makeup in the summertime. Don't forget to hit the notification bell as well as the subscribe button. Follow all my social medias but most importantly keep on watching. We're going to start with my eyes today so I'm going to use my primer while it sits in uh, while we're working on my eyes. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Primer Serum only because I'm not actually going outside today. It's about seven o'clock at night and I'm done with my day. But typically if you're doing this in the morning and plan to be outside on a nice summer day you would want something with SPF in it. If you're going to be out in the sun, you can get a primer with SPF. You can get foundation with SPF, but if you're gonna be out and about, you want something with, with SPF in the summertime, it's so crucial. But for me, I'm just gonna use this one because I'm not actually going out into the sun today. I'm gonna prime my eyes and I'll be right back. Now that my eyes are primed and set, I'm gonna use the Naked Heat. Now this is by no means my favorite palette. This is probably my least used palette in my collection, but this nice array of warm colors is gonna be great for the summertime. Let's jump right in. I want the slightest bit of brown, so I'm gonna take this low blow color here and just sloppily get that down as a transition. We're gonna really get like a warm reddish eye, but it's not gonna be anything too precise. I'm thinking a warm summer barbecue is the vibe I'm going for this. And for that, I kind of want it to not be super glam. So you can do like a messier look, but I want to get some reds down. So I don't want too much of that brown peeking through anyway. That is just so pretty on its own, but we're going to take some reds. We're going to go in with a shade He Devil right here. And we're going to, again, messily get that all over my lid and not so much just in the crease like literally all over the lid blend it into the crease a little bit but focus this on the lid this you can build up a little bit we want the red this is going to be a red kind of smoky look you can build the red up take that into the crease but if you feel like it's getting a little out of control go back in with your first brush and that lightest brown we had and blend out so you can still have a little bit of that transition red peeking through. We're keeping it super simple. It's great for any summer event, honestly. It's going to be a super, super easy eye look. And, and you don't have to use the Naked Heat. You literally can find any array of these browns in any palette. These browns, these reds, they're everywhere on the market. Here's where the drama is going to come in in the palette get a deeper kind of purpley color so we're going to go in with scorched this one right here and you're going to put that all over the lid all the way to the outer corner i got a little bit on my face that's why we did this first <laughs> once you have your darker red color go in with the lightest shimmer so this one is lumber I use my finger. I love the finger application better than brushes. And you're, you're going to put that right on the inner corner of your eye. Eyelid still don't do all <laughs> inner corner. You don't want it right here. You want it on the first half of your eyelid blending into that darker color. And it gives just a nice little pop of dimension. Do that on this eye. And we'll be right back. You can always, if you want to like make it more seamless, you can like pat the darker color just to make them meet. The fallout on this palette is crazy. For the very last step on my eyes, I always go back in with a clean brush and just buff out that top just to make everything slightly more seamless. We're going to pause on the eyes for now. Let's move on to face makeup. So a trick that I have for makeup in the summer is wear very little. Your face is gonna be sweaty, it can melt off, it'll wipe off. You don't wanna wear too much, you don't wanna have too much of a heavy face. I like to use a BB cream. This is the Profusion BB cream. And you're just gonna put that on 
in places where you need coverage. If your face gets too heavy in the hot summer heat, it's going to be bad for your skin, first of all, because your pores are going to be open and sweating and they're going to get clogged with the makeup. So you want to be aware of that. But then you also need to be aware that any hard work you put in, it's just going to get sweaty. I mean, depending on where you live too, if your summers are hot, 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 no makeup, just do your eye makeup and <laughs> call it a day. But if you still want a little bit of coverage on your face, I recommend a BB cream spot concealing if you can, which is a little bit of um, concealer. I know not everyone is into that, but if if you're struggling with making your makeup last in the summertime, that's going to be your reason. Not a summer trick, but a trick that I've been doing lately is blending with a brush and then just going in with a damp sponge right over top. No product, just right over the product that I had just put down. And it looks so flawless. That's it. That's literally the only face makeup I'm going to put on in terms of a foundation. I absolutely am using a concealer. I hate my under eyes. But I'm going to try to use that very sparingly as well. I say very sparingly as I like. <laughs> try to hide. <laughs> try to hide my dark circles. I recommend always setting your foundation. Always. Even as a dry skin gal. I recommend setting foundation because it just has a longer wear time. But if you're going to be outside and sweating and hot, you definitely need to set your foundation or it's literally just going <laughs> to wipe away. If you're one of the lucky ones that doesn't sweat, I'm so jealous. But my forehead gets so sweaty. So I want to make sure I'm definitely getting powder up up there to lock in any kind of coverage I did get from that BB cream. And I did use the Juvia's Place Setting Powder in the shade White Sands. Now, when we think of summer, we all think of beautiful sun-kissed skin, right? I mean, I do. So I'm gonna take this butter bronzer and I'm going to bronze my skin. If you're anything like me and you don't go outside, even if it's summertime, you're gonna be a, a little pale. But you can always make it look like you've been outside in the sun for hours with some bronzer. So just bronze your skin up. You want to be like a sun-kissed goddess. And it's really going to be a beautiful kind of pair with this beautiful red eye we got going on here. I mean, can you tell the difference? <laughs> Again. Once you look like you don't sit in the dark all day long, <laughs> move on to blush. I'm taking this Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio and this beautiful peachy shade. I'm just going to dip into all three and get that on my cheeks. Again, giving yourself a sun-kissed, I go outside, I was at the beach all day, rosiness. Perfect. And a trick you want to do if you want to kind of like have a sun tanny look or like a slight sunburn, ever so ever so lightly stipple it onto your temples kind of give you that i just got like sunburn a little bit look and right onto your nose look like i've been out in the sun and finally highlighter you want to not only be a bronze goddess but you want to be a shiny bronze goddess so take any kind of gold tone highlighter you have this is a cover effects um Trio Rose Gold Bar Highlighting Palette. Looks like this. I picked it up at TJ Maxx. Check yours out. You might have one at yours too. But you want a warm kind of goldy highlight. And just get it on there. <laughs> Bam. I mean, that looks like I'm glistening from sweat right now. Mm -mm. Tip of your nose. A little bit on your chin. Wow, makes such a difference. Bring this up onto your temples and your forehead just a little teeny bit to give you an all over glow. Ooh, love it. Ooh, and of course, always finish with a dewy setting spray. Oh, this is going bad. This is the iconic London super, super shimmery setting spray. 
just an extra layer of shimmer and shine to my face. Let's move back to eyes. Back in this palette, you're gonna want to take the first brown shade and just get that on your lower lash line. For added dramatic effect, take the red He Devil that we used and push that real, real close to your waterline. I'm convinced nobody makes a good face um, when they do this. Oh my God, I forgot eyebrows. I forgot I had eyebrows. I'll be right back when I'm done my eyebrows. And here's my standard post where I say, please ignore my eyebrows because haven't gone to get them done. I use the e.l.f. Precision Eye Pencil and the ABH Brow Gel. Next, before we move on to mascara, take a black eyeliner and water, water, and line the top and bottom water lines. I'm not gonna film this because I have to get super close to my mirror. I'll be back in a second. I have hair on me. Get your water line. When you can no longer see, you know you did it. Take your mascara. I'm using the Pixie. Oh my God. I'm taking the Pixie Lash Lift 188 and I'm gonna throw my lashes on. I also got this at TG Maxx for $4.99 and I've never used it before. So, code red, look at my nose. Don't touch it, don't touch it. <laughs> Fun fact, not about summer makeup either. You get mascara on your face, wait till it dries, you can pick it right off. And as a first impression on the mascara, wow, I'm impressed. That's one coat. And the fun thing about this mascara, it's got this little mini wand you get your bottom lashes with. I think I'm in love. This mascara is phenomenal. Wow. Holy moly, this is fantastic. I need to see how it wears, but look at that oh there's so much volume there the oh. final thing on the eyes you want to highlight that inner corner i'm taking ounce and just putting that right right in the inner corner and right underneath my brow bone finish up with your lip of choice i'm using this pro fusion lip liner and it's matching liquid lip and i recommend if you're going to be outside at a barbecue and no gloss you might have wind blowing up and in your lipstick you don't need it one final spritz that's it everyone for my summer makeup look as well as my summer makeup tips. If you liked the video, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you have makeup tips? Do you find these useful? Tell me your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to come back. We'd love to have you here on the channel. Don't also forget to follow my social medias. The links will be down in the description box below. I post makeup looks, talk about crap on Twitter, Love to have you in the community. Follow me on across all platforms. But that's it for this video, everyone. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.